Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing today? It is a reading to see how they're currently feeling about you. So we can check into a person's energy and see what's going on with them and also try to see what are they feeling about you, but also what they think about you as well, what their thoughts are towards you. So let's clear the space of any previous readings that I've done and uh, energies on the table and send the good vibes through to you guys out there. It's all about the good vibrations, okay, everyone. So this is the thing um, with this reading. We're also going to get your spirit guides advice out as well. With this reading, it can literally be for absolutely anyone, past, present, or even somebody that you've just met. So even with a present person, you may be with them, but you may wondering how are they now are they okay so let's see what major kind of energy does come through for you in your reading um guys by the way if you want to have a personal reading with me there's a link in the description box below i am open again for readings so there we go let's have a look and see <laughs> clarity of belief ace of swords this reading is extremely specific because I'm, as I'm holding the card, I just got the vibe of the energy that's coming through here. I've got to tell you, I'm going to have to tell you guys immediately in the description box when you go in the, in the heading, this is a current connection. Um, this is a current connection. If you guys have had any kind of breakup, I feel like you're trying again kind of vibe. It's not somebody that you're not with. Um, they know it's hard with the Ace of Swords being there, but they know what they want. Okay, they know what they want. They do want to be with you. There has been some kind of trouble in your guys' connection, a bit of drama that's been one, maybe, I feel like it's been every couple of months or every, maybe every second month, you know what I mean? Once a month or something like that, there's a drama that occurs that needs to be overcome. And it's so funny because when I'm feeling this, it's not even coming from the cards. I kind of like feel every time that drama happens, there's something that goes wrong. It's almost like you guys think you might break up at that time, but then you keep on going anyway. Yo, that's different. Um, so let's have a look and see. They want this to succeed. They want this to succeed. So let's have a look and see what is going on here. Um, how do they feel about you? How, I'm so curious. How do they feel about you? Let's unravel this mystery. Let's see what cards are sticking out here. Yeah, they know things have gone wrong. They may feel like you're doing something wrong, by the way. I'm just saying, you know, this is the thing. We all look at situations and events that are unfolding from our own perspective. And I kind of got this vibe. They're looking at things from our own, their own perspective. I feel the chariot card here is the, is the energy that I was picking up on, which is also Cancer's energy as well. And yes, Gemini with the lover's card. Mm. And we are just moving into the solar eclipse on the 10th of June in Gemini. Okay, so this connection here, this is going to be a little bit intense. Um, with this chariot card coming up here, I feel that this is the energy that I was picking up on of things kind of like going wrong, um, maybe almost like on a monthly basis, like two, three weeks go by, everything is smooth, and then boom, the chariot card comes in. It's like you guys are on a road with each other. Definitely, you are together. The two of you are extremely different, because in this card, as I'm looking at it here, I feel like you, you see the two differences in the two the two sphinxes that are here. But the underlying energy that drives you, even though the two of you are so different, is this lover's card. It is this energy behind it, and it keeps you guys going together. It's meaning that, well, I can tell you one thing, they do have feelings for you. They do have feelings for you, or they would not be with you. Okay, that's for sure. Um, I do feel like sometimes it feels like a lot of hard work, especially for them as well, but I feel like it also feels a lot of hard work for you. Um, with the lover's card being there, it does tell me there's a possibility that you guys are soulmates. I'm seeing it in the two sphinxes and the two lovers standing there. There's a reminiscence of these two cards, almost like copying each other. Yes, look at that. The two people, the two sphinxes, the person behind, the angel behind, the chariot driver. I feel like you guys have met for a specific reason. You are soulmates to each other, um, possibly even more. We just see as you go on. I kind of got the vibe for some of you guys. This can even be kind of like one of those twin flame kind of vibes coming through here. It doesn't come through very often in my readings. I think I'm kind of picking up on it because of the repetitive um, back and forth behavior between the two of you. This is the thing. Their feelings towards you is that they do not want to leave you, but they're afraid with the seven of pentacles. They, it's like they see the future. They can, you can see it there. It's like, I'm here. I'm here. My heart is in it. I'm ready. You know, I want, also, I feel like they want the relationship not to remain in this place. They do want it to go to a place where it is more stable. 
with the seven of pentacles being here in the reverse position there's that fear in them that things will not be okay between you and them there's that fear but at the at the same time they've also got that that feeling like no things are going to be just fine things are going to be just fine but at the same time they're going i hope you know what i mean so let's have a look and see what they're thinking about all this going on here yeah, that's that energy of they, but things are going to be just fine, I hope. That's the Hierophant energy, that card of wisdom. Eight of emotions. All right. Okay, this is their thoughts about this. I can tell you, don't freak out about the eight of emotions. Yes, don't freak out. There's your sun card. Um, they don't want this to stay in a place where, that's why the Ace of Swords has come up here. You've got the Ace of Cups in the reverse position. Emotions in the stick. Hierophant energy has rocked up here. Taurus's energy. Card of wisdom learning understanding in this one energy also blessings also blessings as well and then the sun card comes up here this is what i can tell you they do not want to stay in this the cycle that's going on but they don't want to leave you either they i almost feel like they think you feel the same way I do feel like they see you feeling the same way, but there requires a shift here, honestly, from both of your guys' energy. If you wanted to go past this point, just as me telling you, it requires a, a shift. Obviously, the Eight of Cups needs to be walking away from what's currently happening, which is right, this is right above the Chariot card. This is when those things go wrong. That needs to be left behind. And just look at that. There's your lunar eclipse that just happened. There's the lunar eclipse. This moment's for you guys. If you're watching this reading before the 10th, um, I feel like this reading is really intended for you because you are, we are heading towards the 10th where there is the solar eclipse. There's major changes. We are going to be in North Node. That's the time you walk away from the past and into the future. This can be healed. That's how I'm feeling. What I can tell you, you guys have got to figure out a way to heal the situation. And it's going to have to be a different kind of way. With the sun card, it, re it requires a change of perspective. I feel like, honestly, I'm speaking to both individuals here. Um, it requires a change of perspective, but it can be extremely positive moving forward. Um, for some of the things, I feel like there's an energetic clash going on here. Some of the things that are being fought about or that are being that causing this chariot to go in the reverse position, they. They may seem at the time like it's a big deal, but if you have to kind of like step out of it and change your perspective and actually have a look and go, um, we are fighting about what we're having for dinner. Perspective. Why? There's something here that needs to be discussed between you and them. Um, maybe there's hurt feelings from a point in your guys' relationship that hasn't really been healed just as of yet. Because it can carry on forward and make something that's not even important become a big deal. You know, because certain things I feel like could have just been brushed off or can be brushed off. And you can literally move past that. The Hermit card in reverse position and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is going to take work. And it's going to take a hard, long, hard look in for both of you with inside of you and do not be stubborn guys i'm just saying with the hermit card coming up here that's virgo's energy as well it's going to require wisdom and it's almost like the letting go of an outer ego kind of vibe going on here and having a look at what's really important if you guys value this connection you're going to have to stop valuing um being right like literally both of you i feel like i'm your mom you know speaking to you like no guys no don't do that i feel like i'm talking to my two daughters when they fight with each other you know what i mean because this relationship can really go to stability it's not easy it's not easy being in a relationship it's one of the hardest things i think we'll ever do besides raising children and um with the three of pentacles being there it does tell me that you guys can get to a place where it's literally marriage or if it's marriage it can be a stable marriage but it's gonna take a bit of time for you guys to change how you're viewing the problem you got to look at it from a different perspective and you got to remove any egos out of it and you know um I almost feel like spirit guide saying factual, factual, factual. Um, there must be no like pointing fingers back and forth. There needs to be a discussion about what's really important here and how we can move past it. Because if we start to look at the real root of what is going on here, 
the real root of it is that you guys are soulmate energy to each other. And it's almost like the soulmates that you are. There's external little factors that come in and cause a bit of disruption. And it wants to break that soulmate connection. Don't allow that to happen. This is something that you guys can work through using wisdom, using change of perspective, and then also going within yourself in the hermit mode, almost like letting go of an ego energy, almost like... Um, Sometimes we don't have to be right. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like, sometimes we can let somebody else be wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, just let them be wrong. You know, you look at them and go, okay. And you're like, I know you're wrong. But anyway, kind of like let little things slide so this thing can go a little bit further and to a place of more stability. It is going to take work. But what I can feel from it all is that they are willing to do it as well. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming into the reading. I'm sending love and light. Bye.